I got the opportunity to meet six rich Ghanaian men and I asked them this question why are they not building factories for the youth of this country to get a job to do this six rich businessmen burst into laughter as if I have said something funny then one said the people shouting no food no jobs are all thieves the writer said I said really I was shocked and the man then went on he said I run a manufacturing business and trading business he said the biggest challenge in my manufacturing business is not electricity it is not infrastructure the biggest challenge is getting honest staff everyone we hire appears to be on a mission to steal as much as possible they will inf they will inflate invoices recording less than the actual number of units produced the worst part of it all is that all the fraud we have uncovered is not done by a single person it is usually many staff who collude with each other from the production line to sales to finance and even to top management the businessman said there was a year i overhauled management three times i now use indian expatriate management so competent so honest and so straightforward i thought they were expensive at first with all the visa fees accommodation house staff but now that the losses due to staff theft have been reduced to a minimum and efficiency increase the indian management has turned out to be cheaper than the previous african ghanaian management now all sensitive positions involving money go to indians africans are only allowed in non-sensitive positions this is what the businessman feather said i used to criticize indigenous african companies like dangote group that hired so many indians when there are many unemployed africans but now i understand their painful decisions he said my biggest challenge in the trading business is the same in other words, he has a trading shopping business and he said it is getting that is getting honest stuff the form of trading occurs in open market and involves staff having access to huge sums of money running into few millions i know how much i pay to security companies to provide the escort for the staff not to prevent robbery but to ensure that the staff will go straight to the bank and will not run away with the money this money spent on security companies is even enough to be declared as profit he said we have to spend a cctv biometric scanners and other things that wouldn't be needed if the staff weren't looking for opportunity to steal he said it got so bad at a point that my own criteria for employing a staff was no longer competence or certificate but honesty at least competence and skills can be learned but once you are dishonest you are dishonest he said we always complain of the economy and how there are no jobs i know people abroad who would have loved to set up job creating business businesses in ghana but they can't because they can't get a trustworthy person to manage the business he said i know people in ghana with so much money they want to start factories and other job creating businesses but they can't because they are occupied elsewhere and they can't get any trustworthy person to run the business instead of investing in the real sector and creating jobs they would rather buy treasure bills and keep their money than opening a business to employ Ghanaians. he said don't go take and open a shop and businesses in every african country in this world but the problem is that they can't find good people and honest people to manage he said their biggest problem is top government officials the dishonesty between go government officials that is preventing africa to become better he says start a small farm 
and they start a small pottery farm and they will steal the eggs he said if they don't steal the eggs they will intentionally kill the chicken and the fowls and then they will ask you if they can take it home that an entertainment center or a game center and then the money will go into the pockets of the workers he said the day the sales will go very high that is when the business owner is there himself he said they forget that they are eating their, they are eating your money but they are also eating their future buy a car and let somebody run it as a taxi and then they will finish you start a restaurant and the people will take half of the foodstuffs into their house for food he said even the small business shop the small kiosk in town would find people will still find a way to steal from the shop owners the worst thing that happens is that they will make this quote that the uh, uh in th that every person eats from where he works they will justify the ceiling he said i usually say the reason most Ghanaians haven't stolen billions of money is that they haven't gotten the opportunity how can a businessman say that he managed his company and the Ghanaians he employed were running down the company and they would rather prefer Indians to manage be top managers and these Indians are managers that they are honest they are straightforward the Indians are not Christians but most companies in Africa have trusted them because they can run their companies very well 70% of the population are Christians here in Ghana 17% or 16% are Muslim you put that together over 92% of the people in Ghana are religious so you ask yourself the question what is the use of going to church what is the use of their being religious and yet Hindus who are not Christians are more straightforward and honest to sustain a business than the people who come to church on a Sunday we are our own enemies the businessman said you wonder why there are no jobs the people you meet them on the streets if they are asking for jobs, you employ them today tomorrow they will run your company down you employ members from your church and they will destroy your business for you we are the Judases betraying one another we are our own we are wow